Welcome to Van Tech, and this is the Van, Van Tech Metal Workshop introduction. There's several things that you need to learn before you even begin to work in this shop. And the most important things are my expectations for you and safety. And we'll be continuing on safety as we introduce every machine, but there's a certain set of rules that we need to familiarize ourselves with so that you can function safely in this shop. This is an industrial atmosphere, and by all means, it's potentially dangerous. So what I want to give you is the information that you need so that you can protect yourself and those other people working around you to make sure that no one gets injured. There is a handout that goes along with these expectations I have for you and the shop safety rules. Please read these and learn them. It's very important. And I'm going to go through these handouts now and discuss each topic carefully. You need to learn these rules and there is no excuse for you not to understand what my expectations are for you. First of all, attendance. Arrive to class on time and ready to work. If you are late, you will need a valid excuse or a note from another teacher. The class starts at the bell. Be in the shop when the bell goes. Plain and simple. Um, if you are one of those students who chooses to, to uh, come and arrive to class either late or skip out, it's going to have consequences for you. You are not going to be able to succeed in this course if you're not here ready to work. One important thing that I want to stress to you, and this is, I want to make it perfectly clear to you guys that under no circumstances are you to arrive to my class stoned or under influence of drugs or alcohol. It is an absolute no-no and if you do I will send you down to the office and you will be removed from this course. Now if you're taking medications that may make you drowsy please let me know. It's really important that I that I understand that each and every one of you is capable and able to work while you're in this class. Make sure you have your project with you and the notebook and pen and paper. You need to write it's a good habit to get into and your journals will require that. Do not bring Walkmans to my class. They do not belong. They will be confiscated. And I'm serious about this. Don't try to wear one headphone. I don't care. If I see them, I take them. This is your fair warning. Uh, if you're late, don't bring food and drinks to my class. It obviously means that you had enough time to stop off somewhere else and pick up the stuff. I will probably take them away from you. And now penalties will be assessed for those people. If you don't follow these rules, you're going to be in conflict with me. And that's not a fun place to be. I don't like it when people push the limits. So please respect these rules and follow them. And it's up to you, if you've missed, missed a class, to find out what you've missed. And there's several ways you can do that. Ask your colleagues, your classmates, and secondly, you can come and talk to me. If it, if it has to do with instruction on a machine, then come to me directly where I can help you out. Now, students wanting to leave the shop. This is an important rule because you need to follow these as far as safety goes. If there's an emergency, I'm accountable for each and every one of you. And if you're not in my shop, I have to find out where you've been. So that, for the, so the first thing we start out with is no one leaves my shop without my permission. You need to come directly to me and ask permission to leave for whatever reason, whether it's to the bathroom or to go to the office for whatever purpose. If you want to go to the bathroom, the process is come and talk to me, ask me permission, and if it's convenient for us and all those other people in the class, I will let you go. When you return, I expect you to come directly to me and say, Mr. Basil, I am back. This allows me to let another person go to the bathroom or to, to run an errand if necessary. I do not let more than one person out of my shop at a time. In case of an emergency, we all are going to, going to leave this shop together. And it's really important that I know where each and every one of you are. So if someone's in the washroom, someone's gonna to have to go find you so that we can leave as a group to get out of the shop. Now, be respectful. You guys all talk about respect, but there's certain things that some of you guys don't follow. And the first one is when I'm talking, I don't want you to talk. 
That's a real bad sign of disrespect. If you have a question, raise your hand and I will usually ask you. Um, if I ask you a question, don't yell out. Raise your hand as a group and I will pick the person I want to answer that. Um, important rule here about respect when it comes to classmates is keep your hands off everybody else. There's no reason for you to be touching someone else in this shop. And secondly, you know, there's lots of things in this shop that also deserve your respect. Tools and equipment. You are not allowed to touch machines that you haven't been learned, uh, haven't been instructed on. So please don't get into the habit of touching things. Do not damage or deface anything in this shop. If you do, I consider that a real, um, a real sign of disrespect and I will deal with it accordingly. I think that you as a responsible student should look after this shop. Uh, don't steal anything from any, anything from anyone or from this shop. If you do that, you're down to see the constable and I will deal with you through him to the fullest extent of the law. Important thing, get along with others. It's really important that you learn to get along. You're going to have to find a job one day and you're going to have to learn to get along with people in the workplace. This is like a, an industrial environment with people working in it. Learn about working together and watch your language. That's the easiest thing. Watch how you talk to other people. You got two important things when interacting with someone else. Keep your hands off them and watch the language that you use. These things will help you get along with me and get along with everybody else in this shop. And as you can see, they're pretty important. Now, we're going to be doing work in this shop once we get through the first bit of safety. And I do have expectations for this place. Now, one of the most important things that I've learned is that a clean shop is a safe shop. And we're going to do our best to maintain a level of safety in this shop that is exceptional. And the best way to do that, to begin with, is to make sure everything is organized. You are responsible for cleanup. Everything has a place, it needs to be put back. If you see something lying out and aren't quite sure, bring it up to me and I will tell you where it goes. All tools and work areas will be cleaned up and journals completed before you wash your hands. When the warning bell goes, don't drop everything and go wash your hands and stand by the door. That's not what I want. What I really want is everything to get put away. Everything gets put in its proper place so the next class doesn't in inherit your mess. An important part of that is put your garbage in the garbage cans. There's lots of them in this shop. They're usually on the floor. It's pretty obvious. And if you brought garbage or wrappers or things like that, you need to put them in the garbage can. If you leave stuff on the, my benches, it's going to be a problem for you. If you've used a machine or the areas around a machine, make sure you clean them up. And if there's surplus materials, please put that away. Don't just leave things on benches. It's not what we want to do. If you were to do this in a workplace, not clean up and look after the place, I guarantee you your job or your employment at that place would be very limited. Sooner or later, they would get rid of you because of your lack of cooperation within the system. There are chairs in the shop. Those are designed for you to use when we're taking notes. And when you're done with them, the stools go up on the workbenches and the blue chairs get stacked nice and neatly in three even stacks into the, their proper storage location. Once all this is done, you can wait for the bell, the final bell before leaving the shop. And do not wait in the hallways. This is pretty important because if you're in the hallways, that means you're disturbing other classes or potentially if an administrator is in the hallway and catches you, then that creates a conflict for me because he understands that all the teachers know that students are not supposed to be in the hallway. So if you're in the hallway, that means you're breaking one rule and you get me into trouble. I don't appreciate that. Now we're going to talk about safety stuff and we're going to apply this to the to things that you should look up, look around the shop and be aware of when you work in here. 